Bone marrow transplantation or gene therapy can be useful to correct genetic defects. It is frequently possible to correct the defects in lymphocyte development that lead to the SCID phenotype by replacing the defective component generally by bone marrow transplantation. The major difficulties in these therapies result from MHC polymorphism. To be useful, the graft must share some MHC alleles with the host. The MHC alleles expressed by the thymic epithelium determine which T cells can be positively selected. When the bone marrow cells are used to restore immune function to individuals with a normal thymic stroma, both the T cells and the antigen presenting cells are derived from the graft. Therefore, Unless the graft shares at least some MHC alleles with the recipient, the T cells that are selected on host thymic epithelium cannot be activated by graft-derived antigen-presenting cells. There is also a danger that mature, post-thymic T cells in donor bone marrow might recognize the host as foreign and attack it, causing graft-versus-host disease, GVHD. This can be overcome by depleting the donor bone marrow of mature T cells. Bone marrow recipients are usually treated with a radiation that kills their own lymphocytes, thus making space for the grafted bone marrow cells and minimizing the threat of host versus graft disease, HVGD. In patients with the SCID phenotype, however, there is little problem with the host's response to the transplanted bone marrow as the patient is immunodeficient. And that's bone marrow transplantation or gene therapy can be useful to correct genetic defects. Have a great day.